Okay guys, here's another Zombies vs. Unicorns story review. Um, this is a zombie one, and it's by Maureen Johnson, and it's called The Children of the Revolution. This one was pretty good. It was actually, um, I don't want to say it's a fully horror story. It would be a great setup for a horror story, because it, it is one of those cliffhanger sort of endings. But, um, it was really cool. Um, a girl, basically, what ends up happening is this, you don't find this out till the end, of course, but a crazy cult, um, reanimates the dead because they think, oh, nothing's permanent, they're not dead, they're just sleeping, right? And so, um, they ended up reanimating these children of a crazy actress who adopted them, and then the babysitter, who is the main character, ends up getting bitten by one of them, and so then she becomes reanimated even though she's not dead. And you don't really find out what happened at the end, even though, even though she attacked this actress, but um, basically it gives you this chilling idea that being a, zom being a zombie, you're still conscious, you're just really slow everything is slow and it's hard to think and you don't you can't think deeply you, you can only think shallow sort of thoughts um if you've read pretties by scott westerfeld it's not like that except it's it's just hard to think in general it's hard to think of a plan it's hard to think beyond the, the immediate stuff um but that's only that's the ending scene, and it's not very long, so um, you only you don't get to examine it very closely. But um, it's sort of oddly scary in the way that um, you imagine the zombie apocalypse happening and all of those revolutions that you're actually killing someone who can think, or that you're killing um, someone who has, like, a mental disorder, I, uh, the, I, that, that might be a hot spot button for some people, but I don't mean, like, all people with mental disorders, I'm likening it to that, because it is a disorder, and it is mental, as the way, it, the way that it is portrayed in the book, um, not, like, not all people with mental, very few people, I think, actually, with mental disorders are actually, have lesser intelligence or have problems thinking. Um, that that is not what I was getting at. Um, as far as the writing, it was pretty good. I think there was a big setup, and it was it was there was a consistent speed. The speed was generally slow. Um, so if I, I don't know if I would go to Maureen Johnson for horror, um, but it was definitely sort of realistic because real life does sort of go slow like that and it does have a good background. I think I would have to um, read something else by her to really get a good measure of whether or not I enjoyed her writing. Um, so. That was Maureen Johnson's The Children of the Revolution, and uh, tomorrow I'll get back to you with another story.